Chess is my favorite board game. My mom's maiden name was Bishop, and Grandma Bishop's maiden name was Chess. So maybe it's in my genes to like this game. Running a very close second favorite game is Scrabble. Check out Season 1, Episode 22 uh, regarding that game. But meanwhile, back to chess. Uh, I want to show you today how to make chess pieces from common nuts and bolts. I made these pieces here because I have shaky hands and uh, they, they are heavier than normal pieces and they're easier for me to handle with the shaky hands. Okay, now these pieces are heavier and they have a lower center of gravity than other chess sets I've had, the pieces. And so whenever uh, I play with lighter and taller pieces, I tend to knock them over. And sometimes I have to ask my opponent to make, or to move rather, a piece for me. Well, it's embarrassing to ask someone to checkmate themselves with my own player. So let me introduce you to my team. First of all, we have the pawn. Very simple. One piece of hardware, just a half inch coarse thread bolt. Okay. And uh, this one comes to us, by the way, this team member comes to us from Ellettsville, Indiana, which happens to be where I live as well. All right, then uh, next in line, we have the rook. There's the rook. Okay. And you see what I've used there. I've, I've used a castle nut. Interesting. Castle nut or slotted hex nut for a, uh, a top, a, a crown, not a crown, but uh, for his, his top. And um, uh, a castle nut. So put a little dab of thread lock seal on before I screw the, the hex nut on. And that keeps it from coming unscrewed. And we don't want him losing his helmet during the game, you know. So that's it there. The, uh, the rook. And then next in order would be the bishop. He has a rather plain hat, but the bishop, he's a little taller than the uh, pawn and the uh, rook, and uh, I believe about an inch and a half without his hat. Okay, inch and a half bolt half inch. And uh, that hat is made out of a decorative um, thread cover. Maybe I said that already, but there it is again. I didn't want you to forget. So, and then uh, the next one we have is what I like to call my horsey. All right, I know it's not a horsey, it's, it's a, a knight. Oopsie, there we go. See, what I've done here is uh, we've got the, uh, the hex bolt that's an uh, inch tall. And then because I, I used a wing nut for the top to form his head, and it looks like he's looking up in the air expecting something, expecting to win probably. But um, So I cut off one wing there, and then because of that one wing sticking out, he kept tipping over on the board, so I, so I took the wing off and put another hex nut on top of the, uh, the bolt running all the way to the bottom, again giving him a low center of gravity, and uh, now he doesn't tip over anymore. So that's my horsey, uh, knight. And then we have the uh, Queen, the co-stars of the show, the king, the queen, and the king. And uh, here's my queen. She's the only girl in this game, by the way, the only woman in the game. And but she's the most powerful player. So watch out, guys. Sometimes the girls and the women 
are the more powerful players in, in life, you know. So uh, there she is, and, and I used for her head and crown a, a locking hex nut. See that there? A locking hex nut. Makes a beautiful crown, I think. And then she's got a full um, uh, wing nut turned upside down with her, and those represent her arms, her arms. And I'll show you more about that in a moment. Um, and she's an inch and a half tall without her shoes on, without that base. Inch and a half, just like the bishop. All right, putting her back, and let's go over here to the king. And uh, here's the king. Also using a locking uh, um, hex nut. You can see the locking part there down below. Only his is on uh, right side up. That's his crown. And then he's got uh, a wing nut representing his arms. Only his arms are uplifted. So there's the king. Now it's like, you know, you might wonder is why are his arms uplifted like that? You know, is he uh, reaching toward heaven? Is he just super spiritual and um, invoking the blessings of the Lord upon the battle? Uh, why has he got his arms up there like that? Well, <clears throat> I overheard an exchange of words between the royal couple one day, and it went something like this. The king says, help me, help me. Everybody's after me. And then the queen, with her arms hanging down, relaxed at her side, as she is here, relaxed, she says, uh, honey, don't you worry. I'll take good care of you. And that's my story, and I'm going to stick with it. So, uh, P.S., um, if you, uh, uh, well, no, don't forget, I just want to say, don't forget to spray paint one team. I didn't talk anything about that, but whatever color you like, I just leave these the way they came from wherever you got them. And uh, then uh, you might run into uh, finding you know, having a hard time finding enough um, of one particular item. So if you're going with coarse thread and you can't find everything you need, well, put those back and try fine thread and see if you can find it all. Actually, before I was all finished with my set, I ended up going to two or three different places to find everything I needed. Okay, so that was my postscript. And, uh, oh, then, and then there's a footnote I'd like to add. I'm 70 years old now, and I've been playing chess for at least 47 years. And today, for the very first time ever, I played, I played chess against the computer. And I won. Well, okay, it was beginning level. I just wanted to get reacquainted with the game. So, but I won. So I hope you have fun with this. And uh, maybe uh, if, you, if you make one of these sets for yourself, uh, send me a little note and tell me how it turned out for you. Okay. And uh, until next time, may God bless you.